down home. Today's question comes from Jen. She wants to know what conspiracy theory is most compelling to you? Listen, I usually don't go in hard on conspiracy theories, but the Tasmanian tiger conspiracy theory has its teeth in me. For those of you who are unschooled and don't know, the Tasmanian tiger or the thylacine is this extinct animal that used to live in Tasmania. It's like a dog, wolf, zebra, tiger hybrid. The last official sighting of a thylacine was in 1936, but in 1933, they actually had one in captivity in the Hobart Zoo. There's some pretty compelling footage for me for someone who's deep. I'm deep on this one, man. Scientists say that was the last Tasmanian tiger that existed. But here's the deal. Recently, scores of Tasmanians say they have seen Tasmanian tigers in the wild or they've caught them on trail cams. Man, I actually believe these things still exist. Just ask anyone who has mentioned the word Tasmania to me in the last year. One of my buddy's dad told me he was going to Tasmania for a holiday and man, I am embarrassed about the way I ear battered that guy about Tasmanian tiger and I think I know why this particular conspiracy theory had me so wound up because I desperately want to cling to this idea this romantic notion planet earth is unchartered mysterious wild and beckoning I want to believe that science and technology and Google Maps that human beings have not tamed the earth when I was a kid earth was wild, mystical. Now I can get on Google Maps and zoom in so far that I can actually see leaves on the tree in the middle of the forest that we used to climb up to get a bird's eye view of our world. If the Tasmanian tiger still exists, that means there are still mysteries that science and technology and Google haven't probed and dissected and charted and sucked the fun out of. It means our world is still wild and beckoning and some mysteries still exist. Also, it means since I am usually a skeptic that I am 100% accurate in choosing my conspiracies.